Brethren, let's move on to the economy and inflation specifically. I'll, I'll directly uh, uh, let everyone know your tweet that uh, we know TJ was referring to. You said or you tweeted, this level of inflation is a direct result of Dems spending since they've taken control in D.C. Where do you believe costs should be and could be cut right now to roll back that tide of inflation? Well, I think if you look at it, Amy, when President Biden took office, the inflation rate was 1.4 percent, well within the Fed's range of 2 percent. Now, as you said, it's a 40-year high, 9.1 percent last month, year over year. Uh, what that represents, according to the Joint Economic Committee in a study they did recently, is about 700 additional dollars per month per family in this country, or about $9,000 a year in higher costs. So I think it comes back to the bill they passed, which we tried to discourage them from passing, and even liberal Democrat economists um, from the Obama administration also suggested this was a really bad idea to flood the zone with a lot of spending, which they did with the $2 trillion bill last year. That overstimulated the economy. Uh, you know, the textbook definition of inflation is too many dollars chasing too few of goods. So it started with the spending. I think the other issue, honestly, is lack of a, a coherent energy policy in this country. A lot of what drives inflation is gas prices. And if you look at the price of gas, it's, it's doubled since the president took office. And I think a lot of that has to do with just not having the supply. They shut down a lot of oil and gas production in this country. I think there are things you can do that, you know, one, stop the, the wasteful spending, unnecessary spending. Don't talk about raising taxes. That would be a horrible idea right now, which is on their agenda. And then come up with a, a coherent energy policy that emphasizes American energy production so that we're not dependent upon other countries around the world. What would you like to do right now, uh, given that, uh, and again, you listed many things, and I, again, I somewhat said it jokingly, nobody's surprised to hear a Republican uh, put the blame right. at, the, at the feet of uh, Democrats, but we had the pandemic, and there were a, a lot of things that did happen um, that was kind of out of a lot of people's control with the supply chain issues. A lot of people came right back to the market, and the, the, the demand went up really quickly. And, and I know you talk about the $2 trillion in spending, but a lot of that was to put money back in Americans' pockets who were struggling coming out of the pandemic. So it was a, a lot of things going on there, but what can you do? What can Congress do right now, do you feel? Right. Well, and honestly, uh, TJ, to your point, there, there was $5 trillion in spending in 2020, all done on a bipartisan basis. The $2 trillion came uh, last year after the president took office. And there are things we can do. I worked in a bipartisan way with Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota on a supply chain issue, the Ocean Shipping Reform Act, which is designed to get at some of those bottlenecks that we're experiencing uh, on the, in the ports. And I think, again, as I said before, uh, focusing on and getting the administration to work with us on an energy policy that is American energy. All of, you know, it should be all of the above strategy, but we ought to try to achieve a energy independence in this country. I think that will drive gas prices down, which I think would have a pretty profound impact uh, on inflation. And I just think, again, it would be a mistake right now, which the Dems are talking about, uh, to increase taxes and come up with yet another pretty big spending bill. They're talking about another trillion dollars. I think that would be a huge mistake. But it shouldn't come as any surprise to you or anybody else. It's an even-numbered year. This is an election year. So obviously, we're going to be talking about issues that we think impact people's pocketbooks in this country, and certainly inflation uh, represents that. And I just came from a weekend back in, in South Dakota, out in the western part of the state, and it is having a profound impact on the economy in a state like South Dakota, which in the summer months uh, depends on the travel industry, and that, you know, gas prices has a, a, a very consequential impact on that. South Dakota Senator John Thune, we really appreciate your time today. Thanks for being on the program. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, TJ.